Well, good morning to you. It's Ellen from Rent Roll Starter here. I attempted to go live about 15 minutes ago and the live did not stream. That's technology for you, isn't it? Can't help that. Let's carry on. Um, so what I want to do very quickly is I just want to double check that uh, Facebook is streaming my video this time. So let me just uh, pull up my phone. I'm streaming from my phone today not from my webcam, so let's just check to make sure that works. And then I wanna to talk to you about the best platforms for your rent roll growth. It looks like it's working. Oh yes, it's working. All right, let me just prop you up just there um, and I will be able to... Okay, that's working, awesome. Um, now I was actually hoping that sometime yesterday I was gonna be getting a new webcam, so I was gonna be able to stream to you from a beautiful new webcam uh, but Australia Post felt it was not the right time. So hopefully next week when we go live to talk all about your social media sabotages, hopefully you'll be able to see me on my new webcam and that would be fabulous. All right, let's talk about social media platforms for a minute. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was first starting my rent roll um, and like the first couple of years, you're just really busy. That's the truth, right? Um, can I get an amen in the comments below? If you are in the first like one to three years of growing your rent roll, you are probably busy and that's normal, um, but it's overwhelming. So when you are like either the only person in your rent roll or maybe you've got a virtual assistant um, or maybe you've got like just one other person who helps you, like just in the early stages, it can be pretty overwhelming to go, well, I need to try and be on all the social media platforms. And like they're, it's like they're breeding. There's just more and more coming out constantly. So it's like, how on earth are you supposed to keep up with them all? How are you supposed to use them to grow your rent roll? And how are you as the owner of the business and also the property manager and the BDM and everything else, how are you supposed to be on top of everything? And I would say, you're not, you're just not. Um, so I think the best thing to do is just pick the platforms that are going to work best for you. So you might be wondering, well, how do I pick which ones? You know, I've got maybe a Facebook account and an Instagram account and a LinkedIn and I signed up for Snapchat and I do have a YouTube channel and I'm thinking about trying TikTok as well. How are you supposed to know which ones? Well, today I want to share with you one way that you can figure out which platform might be the best for your business to attract the landlords that are going to work in your business um, and then inside the social summit which is our free training event which starts in a couple of weeks I'll be sharing with you another way to help you pick a platform now before uh, we get started what I want to do is I want to be able to share some links with you um, so I'm gonna have to move this camera a little bit over here just like that um, because I want to share a couple of links with you. Now, first of all, I want to share with you how you can join us inside the social summit because I'm going to teach you one strategy today um, and then I'm going to teach you one strategy in, um, inside the social summit. So make sure that you click the link in the comment below. Join us inside the social summit so you get the other strategy as well. Okay, when it comes to picking platforms, one way that you can figure out the best platform for you to be on is to have a look at the demographics or the of the users of those platforms. So I was checking out a really great article by Sprout Social that's that outlines a whole bunch of demographics and behaviors for different social platforms. Actually, let me link this article for you below as well because it's a really interesting article. It's long, um, but it, it offers you so much insight. So let me just share that with you in the comment here as well. So you can go and read the entire article yourself. But there were a few key things that I uh, picked up out of this article and I've written them down on my trusty notepad here. So, but first of all, before you go through the article and before I share the stats with you, I want you to have a think about your landlord. So have a think about um, who is it who are, who are, who make up your current landlords? And probably who are the people who are your favorite landlords? Because, I mean, if you're gonna attract anyone, why not attract your favorites? So have a think about them. Like how old 
are they? Um, and what are their demographics? Have a little think about that. And then grab a quick pen and paper right now because I'm going to throw some stats at you that you might want to scribble down. You can watch the replay of this afterwards if you want as well, but I just want to step you through some of these stats because they're really interesting. So I've just written down the stats for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Snapchat, and YouTube so that you can get a feel for what, what are the age brackets of people who use these um, and also whether, whether they tend to attract male or female. There's not a lot of difference between um, male and female on all of these platforms, but there is just a slight difference. And you can read it in the full article on Sprout Social as well. So, um, so Facebook, the age range, 18 to 49 predominantly, um, and a slight leaning towards more female than male. Twitter, age range 13 to 29, slightly more men than women. LinkedIn, age range 30 to 49, slightly more or men than women. Pinterest, age range 19 to 49, predominantly female. Um, actually, Pinterest was, from my memory, it was noticeably more women than men. Just good to know. Um, Snapchat, younger, so 13 to 29. Uh, this one had a really equal split between men and women. Uh, YouTube, 13 to 64, big age range, uh, predominantly male. So can you see how knowing this sort of information can help you figure out where to focus your attention? Because if you look at the majority of your landlords, if you look at the types of people who are mostly working with you and you go, oh my goodness, most of them are over 40, as an example, then you might go, well, there's probably not a great deal of benefit to me focusing my attention on, say, Twitter or Snapchat if kind of all of our landlords tend to be in that 40 years plus. So can you see how this is useful to know? Understanding the platform's demographics and then also recognising who your landlords are can help you refine the number of social platforms you're on. And it's, look, if you've got a, a whole marketing team, if you've got an established agency, whole marketing team, and you can actually offer the attention to be on multiple platforms, absolutely do that. Like the more you're on, the more fish you're going to catch in your net, right? But if you're just one person, if you only have um, maybe one virtual assistant, if you only have one property manager working with you, if your resources are limited and your time's really limited, then you just want to refine it to be working on the platforms that are likely to put you in front of the people that you most want to attract, right? So you want to be in front of the types of people who are likely to be property investors in your area. So I just think that's really interesting. Go and read the full article by Sprout Social in the comments below. Uh, because you can get a really good feel for which platforms are actually going to work well in your area. And then you can focus your attention on just one or two platforms. You don't have to feel the pressure of being on everything all at once. And do I post the same thing on everything? Um, do I have to learn TikTok? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. I actually don't remember the data on TikTok. I actually don't think the article mentioned TikTok, but my suspicion is it's going to be pretty similar to Snapchat, that younger demographic, but probably an even split between men and women. So have a look at who are the clients you're attracting already and what are their demographics and pay attention to the platforms that their demographics fit. Just so you're not burning yourself out, so that you're not stretching yourself thin. And I think this is just an amazing way to figure out where to focus your, your limited time, your limited attention, focus on the things that are going to bring you the greatest results, give you the best bang for your buck, right? So that's one way to figure out which platform's best. There's actually another way as well, and I'm going to teach it inside the social summit. So I've pop, popped a link to the social summit in the comments below, um, and you can go and register for that. It's just free training. Um, you can register for that. We start in a couple of weeks, um, but 
on day three of the social summit, the third day of training, we're actually going to dive into the even better way to figure out what platforms to focus on. So right now, go and read the article by Sprout Social, get familiar with the demographics, have a look at what your clients are right now, compare it to the information in that article, That'll help you refine it. Then come to the social summit and we'll talk about the other way, which I think is the better way to figure out which social media platforms you want to spend your time and your precious attention on so you get the best bang for your buck. Check it out. Register in the co via the comments below. Um, and next week, we're going to be talking all about social media sabotages. So I know that sounds a little bit woo-woo, but join me next week, next Thursday at 10 o'clock, and we're going to talk about all the stuff that might be holding you back when it comes to your social media strategy. Might not be what you think, uh, but we're going to figure it out next Thursday, because once you break through whatever you're sabotaging in your social media, you're going to have much, much better results. Trust me. Join us for the social summit uh, in the comment below and read the article by Sprout Social. Very interesting. Uh, all right. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.